Hi guys, Dan Stollers here. A very good evening to you all. I hope you're all well at home. Here we go then, this stage is set. 25 bags to look through, 250 in total. And this is the final coin hunt of the week. 84 commemoratives we have found in the coin hunt. We need 16 more to get to the 100. It's going to be a close one. Let's see then if we can find 16 commemoratives over the next 10 minutes or so. A little bit of zoomage there. Hope you've enjoyed all the videos on the channel this week. Again, it's definitely been more than usual. Maybe not more, but longer. Longer coin hunts. Let me know if you've enjoyed them. No luck with the £2. All 50p finds this week. Again, we've, we've tried a little bit with the 10p coins, but unfortunately alphabet coins are nearly impossible we won't give up there though we'll keep hunting every single week just like we are here we hit a beatrix potter anniversary the first coin of this coin hunt and the first of those 16 that we need it's going to be close whatever happens i think and we've got ourselves a double bag a water bag that is a squirrel nutkin and also the Beatrix Potter Anniversary Potters Galore. Again, you can see most of them at the bottom of the screen there. The Beatrix Potters that we've found so far this week. All of them really, apart from those rare four. On to the next bag we go. As always, any questions, queries, hit them there in the comment section below. As fingers crossed, we can find another one in this bag. Usually though, with the coin hunts, just the way that it works, no idea why. We always seem to do a little bit better on the second half of the coin hunt than the first one. So I'm not too worried yet with only two. And again, can't be greedy anyway. We've found a couple of commemoratives nonetheless. And I definitely think we've found more than a couple this week. It would just be nice to try and hit that target. As always, if you found a coin as well, please do get it in the comments below. We pick up quite... Quite a faded Tom Kitten. As you can see there, this could well have been in someone's folder. Tarnished a little. 2017 Tom, Tom, Tom Kitten. Braces, sorry. Benjamin Bunny, coin number four. Are we going to get a turkey strike in this bag? 1998. Could have been the EU Stars or the NHS. Unfortunately not. Four from four. It's good to see. Let's keep going. Again, if you found any commemoratives, let us know in the comments. And together, let's keep that dream alive that there's still some rare commemoratives out there in the wild. When it comes down to those really rare coins, we have found one Olympic this week, the Olympic Rowing. I have done well at work, though. Hasn't been too long since I found the Flopsy Bunny. A really nice find indeed. But again, no super rare coins. Flourish of Flower, nice to find. We found the full Paddington set. Again, they're not rare coins. Not many super rares. However, definitely found plenty of coins. Now, whatever we do get to, I will double check at the end. Go through all of the coins as usual. Sometimes with me just ranting on like I do. Yes, you all know. Sometimes I may miss a commemorative. There could be a rare shield, a rare Britannia hidden in there. We won't count the rare shields or Britannias towards the commemoratives. However, if I do miss one, we'll definitely have to include that. Britannia, Britannias, there's a word. Britannias and shields, again, unfortunately, are not going to count towards the numbers this week. Oh, we're hitting empty bags now. It was four from four. Now it's four from seven. Come on, coin gods. Give us what we need on this lovely Sunday evening. Come on. As for 2023 coins, again, still we don't know if there's going to be any more release to circulation. Had a few questions there. People asking if we are going to see any more coins for UK circulation before the end of the year. Again, the Royal Mint did say we were going to get. We'll pause there. We're going to say, as I say that, Q Gardens, please. Wouldn't it have been nice to see this coin alongside this one in UK circulation? Dan's dollars, 75 years of the NHS. Same kind of design. You can see what I'm doing. 
you can see what it needed and Royal Mint, we know you're listening. Come on, let's just get my coin out into UK circulation. The beating heart of the country, the NHS, or maybe what used to be. Let's not get into politics. However, come on, Royal Mint, get my coin out into circulation. Let's get it out there before the end of the year. The NHSN is coin number five, the first NHS coin that we have found this year. 11 commemoratives away from our goal. I am recording this around six at night. Again, scheduled up. We're watching this half past seven. So if you are wondering why there is a big beam of light coming through the window, that is exactly why. And I hope that it isn't actually affecting the quality of the video all that much. Now, again, you'll hear me ranting on about my NHS 50p coin that maybe should have been. I think that lighting's actually helping quite a lot. The lighting to uncover the 100th commemorative of the week. The coin gods clearly coming through the window. Unfortunately, though, not giving us the coins. Again, when it comes down to commemorative design ideas, etc., ones that we've seen over the last few years, just don't think they've been quite hitting the mark, in my opinion. Especially for what they actually mean as well. I think a lot more thought needs to go in to the coins. You can tell me if I'm wrong. But I know I'm right. Anyway, moving on. 2020. We're going to hit here. I can feel it. Here we go. 2020 Diversity Built Britain. Coin at number seven. We need nine more. Are we going to double up 2020? Yes, we are with another Diversity Built Britain. Maybe not the best coin design ever, like I have said, but three of them in a row would have been nice. 2015, we're not going to get that, but the 2015 coin tries to break the studio. Easy down. Easy down, Shield. Moving on then. Seven. We need nine more. Is that correct? Quick math. Seven. Yep, yeah, 16. Nine more needed. Nine more needed. 13 bags. We're just, just off what we need. But we're going to keep grinding away. Give me a quiet minute. We'll keep looking at them. Don't worry, I am still here. Teeth on fire. Some of you with an eagle eye may have just seen another coin in this bag. We'll get to it in a second. Here it is coming up. Another Diversity Built Britain. Three of them. Maybe all of the rubbish I gave that coin. <laughs> it's coming back. Trying to redeem itself at last. Is that going to put that coin actually into the one that we found the most of? The Benjamin Bunny and the Mr. Jeremy Fisher were leading the way, but now... The Diversity Built Britain could well be the coin that we have found the most of this week. Again, we'll have a good count up at the end of the video, hoping that we have got close to that 100. Fingers crossed we have. We're talking about that in a second's time. Anyway, however, we do want to see as well the coin that we have found the most of over the week. So, into the final 10 bags we go. Here we go. And in the blue corner, <laughs> 10 bags remaining. The light still beaming through the window. This could be the best lighting I think we've ever seen. This is the time. Maybe just have to do it five minutes earlier every single day on a good day as it gets darker a little bit earlier now. I want to say earlier, it is definitely going darker a lot faster. My favourite time of year. Yes, we may be off coins a little bit as we find a nice commemorative there. There's another Benjamin Bunny. Let's just move those out the top. Give us a minute so we know exactly how many we're on. We're on nine finds. Seven more to go. Definitely my favourite time of year. Halloween. Christmas. You all know my birthday, 26th of November as well. Probably the biggest day of the year. Yeah, we know it is. Next up is Benjamin Bunny. Not a signed Dan's Dollars one. Three of them in this one. We'll be getting them signed, getting them out into UK circulation. It's time to get excited. We're on 10. We needed 16. We're on 94 commemoratives. Is it going to happen? 
I don't have any more to look through anyway, so if it doesn't happen with these, it isn't going to happen this week. We've looked, I don't even know how many coins we've looked through this week, but I can tell you one thing, it's been a lot, and we have found plenty of Miss Tiggy Winkles as well. The coin finds are still coming in. We need five more, two, four, six, seven bags remaining. Oh, it's getting close. Seven bags, five commemoratives needed. In the next five minutes, we're going to know if we've hit 100 this week. If we counted the ones from work. Right. Counted the ones from work. Destroy the set again, Daniel. Come on. Counted the ones from work. We'd probably be there already, but that was not the aim of the game. No cheat codes here. Coin hunting alone. 10 P's have let us down. The two pounds have let us down, but the 50 P's, we've kept finding them. Slowly getting there. But are we going to make it? That is the question. Again, plenty of nice coin finds this week. If you've made it this far through the video, absolute legends. If you watched 11 minutes, thank you so much. And we're on to number 12. To appreciate you watching it this far, we've got a giveaway taking place on Saturday. We're in the 11th minute of the video. Comment 11 at the start of your comment. Some people won't even know what you're on about because they'll skip to the end and I'll give you an extra entry into that giveaway. There you go. Oh, teeth. We're getting there. Time to get excited or cry in the corner. So close. We are so close. We have found six, 12. We're four away. Four away, four bags remaining. Come on. 96 commemoratives in one week. Whatever happens, it's 97 commemoratives in one week. We have definitely done well indeed. Don't worry, I won't be hoarding them all away. We'll get these back out into circulation. Young coin collector giveaways, swap videos, whatever it takes to get them out there. I will do just that. And again, this week was all about showing but they are still out there. Again, I understand that nobody, not even myself in one quick go, I've been to the post office twice this week, has a couple of thousand pounds just to go to the post office and look for commemorative coins. If you do, you've got too much money, just buy them. You don't, you know, if you've got 2,000 pounds at home, you don't need to go and try and find them. You can just, you can just buy them. For us though, it's to show they're still out there. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen in one coin hunt. Come on. Three more for the hundred. Can we do it? I'm shaking a little bit. Two bags remain. We're three short. We're on 97. Come on, coin gods. Let us in. Let us do it. It looks like it's going to come down to the final bag. One bag remains. And we need three commemorative coins. If there's two in this bag, and only two, I am going to go and cry. Here we go. I am actually shaking a little bit. Here we go. 1997 Britannias. We get ourselves the peace, prosperity, and friendship with all nations. Some of you may have seen that as I was emptying the bag out. Here we go. We have got 16 coins to look through to find two commemoratives. Britannia, Britannia, Britannia. How many times can I say Britannia? There's too many of them. We still need two. We still need two. 2019. Consolation at the end. Paddington outside the Tower of London. Coin number 99 of the week. Oh, guys, we were so close. So close. So many. In this coin hunt, I don't want to zoom out just too far. I don't know if it will go out any further. Diversity, diversity, diversity. Three again of the Benjamin Bunny, Miss Tiggy Winkle, NHS, Tom Kitten, Squirrel, Beatrix Potter, Anniversary, Peter Rabbit, Public Libraries, Peace, Prosperity and Friendship with All Nations and Paddington outside the Tower of London. 99 coins, one short. Let's just stack them all up, shall we? And just see which coin we found the most of. I'm a bit gutted that we didn't do it, but can you be really? No, I think I'm being a little bit hard on my shelf. On my shelf. Sean Connor is back with his braces again. Mm, a bit hard on my shelf. More like the Grinch, I think, actually. Getting to that kind of year. 
Anyway, you know that I am just talking absolute Benjamin Bunnies right now as we move on. I don't know where that came from either. So yeah, I am. Absolute Benjamin Bunnies. It looks like the Benjamin Bunny is the most common coin find though of the week. Wait a second. Wait a second. We've got a few more to look in. Of all that this week, we only actually found one of each Paddington apart from the Tower of London. So for once, it wasn't just the Paddington show. Public libraries, surely we found one. Not only two this week. So there we go. What, what a week it's been. 99 commemoratives. Two, four, six, eight, nine of the Beatrix Potters. Again, the squirrel nutkin. Nice find there. Both Charles III 50p coins have been found. NHS coin. We got the Floresia flower and an Olympic coin as well. Not a bad week. 99, one shot. One shot. Just got to pray that I've missed one in that 250, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. I was really concentrating this time. <laughs> 99. Anyway, comment your star find of the week here. It's been an amazing week. I hope you've all enjoyed it. And again, 32,300 subscribers. Don't call you all subscribers. We're all a family. 32,300 Dan's Dollars family strong. We end the week in style. A new week begins next week. Oh, one off the hundred. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you all so much. Get to bed. If you've watched all the videos today, I really do salute you. Legends. Stay safe and as always, guys. Thanks for watching.